Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. And it's Saturday. Slashback Saturday. This is the segment created by my very good friend Joe, the Horror Man, where he picks a theme, and we watch a slasher movie based on that theme, and do a review. This week, it's the decade of 2000 to 2009. And this week I picked... Basement Jack. Now, Basement Jack is a 2009 film which runs approximately 93 minutes and is directed by Michael Shelton. Now, this was his directorial debut. He's done visual effects for a lot of popular movies, actually. Mary Poppins Returns, Unstoppable, movies like that. Now, this stars Eric Peter Kaiser as Jack Riley. He was in the movie Miracle with Kurt Russell, Evolution, and Zero Hour. This also stars Michelle Morrow as Karen Cook. She was in Bled, The Seer, and Purgatory Hour. And... Our Scream Queen, Tiffany Shepis, as Officer Lucille Armando. She was in The Night Watchman, Dr. Spine, Hollow's Eve, Axeman, and countless others. Now this had a $1 million budget. And a couple interesting things about this film... They actually shot the end first for the film. Also, the opening scenes were filmed at the very end of shooting. I thought that was kind of interesting. This has an interesting premise. I'm not sure how much I can tell you because it might give away a lot of the movie. But you have Jack Riley, who is a serial killer who basically has been tormented by his mother, and you see that in several flashbacks. What he does is he hides in a family's basement, kills them all, and then strategically poses them for people to find. Now he was caught, sent to a a sane asylum for 10 years, and then escaped. And now he's back at it again. Now he has triggers, which I thought were very interesting. It's not only the whole mommy thing. There is a another element that makes Jack tick. I'm a big fan of this movie. I have been for a long time. I've been waiting to do this one for a while. This movie really never gets talked about. And that's a shame. Because this is a really, really good slasher movie. Um, you can see him on the cover, of course. He has a, like a crinoline doll uh, face on the bottom. He doesn't get that until towards the end. But he kind of doesn't need it, in my opinion. I originally saw this on Netflix uh, years ago. And uh, had to have it in my collection, because that's how good it is. Uh, This is a definite recommendation. If I do have one drawback to the film, or one con, it will probably be towards the end... It felt a teeny bit rushed, and there's a little bit of CGI. Most of the kills and blood and gore are practical effects. But, in the big, kind of like the big showdown at the end, there are a little bit of uh, CGI effects that kind of get to me a little bit. But, you know, it is 2009. It wasn't perfected yet. Of course, now, 10 years later, almost 11, 
you can kind of pick out the problems with the CGI, but all in all, it doesn't really take me out of the film, and I absolutely love it. For once, I can pretty much recommend this to anyone. If you love slashers, you're going to love this movie. If you like horror, you're going to like this movie. It has a very, very interesting story. And don't forget to check out my buddy Joe to see what he picked this week and what our theme is for next week. Because time is drawing short. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time. Peace.